Hello, beta testers. Hawkeye sucks. Not as a character, but in his execution in Crystal Dynamics, Marvel's Avengers. Here's why. Clint Barton has only one interesting ability. Boomerang Arrow. I know that Crystal Dynamics agrees. Do you know how? Because they copy and pasted his move into his ultimate ability. As cool as it may be, it's lazy to do something like this Crystal Dynamics. And if most of us are being honest, we preferred it when Yondu did it. For the record, I do like the AoE healing field, but I do not believe it an interesting ability, nor do I believe it suits Clint Barton. The fears many of us had and articulated have come true, with Kate's obnoxious abilities rendering Clint boring by comparison. Kate can teleport, like Nightcrawler, at the tap of a button. Kate can create a singularity to suck enemies in close. Kate can create portals like Doctor Strange that her and her teammates can travel through. Kate can create a holographic decoy because she also has tech like Stark. She can swap places with the decoy and trigger an explosion. She can rapid fire her arrows like a Gatling gun via her ultimate. She can infuse her sword with the energy to send out Psylocke style waves. The list goes on. Clint, by comparison, has Yondu Arrow, and that is his only interesting ability. I find this particularly offensive not because you Mary sued Kate to death, which of course you were going to do, but because even without these comparisons, Clint is still boring. Any gamer could have farted out more interesting abilities inside 10 minutes, even if they were just stealing them from games that they've already played. Allow me. How about a hack arrow? If players are forced to fight only aim robots in this Marvel game, then why not at the very least give them an arrow that can temporarily make an aimbot fight on our side? Low tier enemies only, of course. Maybe an upgrade that allows you to control two to three at a time? If you ever get around to adding humans to your game, the arrow could also dispense a sort of gas to make enemies berserk temporarily. How about, since Hawkeye has already taught Kate in your universe, play up the Ronin angle. Give Clint a stealth ability. If you're copying abilities on the same damn hero, what's stopping you from just taking Black Widow's invisible ability? Making it so he can do more damage while he's cloaked? How about a binding shot? That when fired close enough to enemies, it could potentially rope them up and restrict their movement temporarily. You're gonna have to sort this out when Spider-Man comes out, might as well give Hawkeye a taste of it. Any real archer should have the ability to mark an opponent and debuff them so they take extra damage from the whole team. I'm sure this exists in his kit already, but a roped up enemy would so perfectly visually communicate to everybody that this is the do that we need to damage. How about proximity mines? Maybe some sort of ground tether, like in Horizon Zero Dawn? <sighs> I want to say poison arrows, but you've already given Kate a smoke arrow ability, and you're taking months to create this unoriginal douche. Another disgrace to their kick-ass Marvel counterpart. You know why it's messed up that you would F up Hawkeye? Hawkeye, like Black Widow, plays among superheroes they don't have powers but they are equals and you can't get them right you crystal dynamics don't you make the tomb raider games i can't properly articulate how unoriginal an archer shooting into the air and creating a hail of arrows that come down is but what really bothers me is how cheap this looks let me show you Tony Bing's footage from when the superior Marvel Heroes was still up and available. Look at this. What could be interpreted as fuel in an arrow that Clint lights on fire, and the fire takes the shape of the Avengers logo on the ground. This is what an ult should feel like. When Hulk smashes the ground and leaves that gamma field, hell yeah. When the son of Odin crashes down via the Bifrost, scorching the earth, you know, you know, the problem, Crystal, is you clearly develop this game not only ignoring successful live services like Destiny and launching with less than a third of the features that they launched with seven years ago, you can't even look at other Marvel games? 
The same way that the shills try hard to sell us on this being normal. <laughs> Six months with one DLC hero? <laughs> it's typical. Money now, content soon. It's the same way that you're constantly trying to hard sell us on how much you give a shit about comics, but talk is cheap. Marvel heroes had actual comic book accurate skins, not comic inspired, but that's a whole last another video to be honest, you know what I mean? They did every skin better than this game and paid tribute to many incarnations that the fans would know and love and many of them paid thousands of dollars for. But that game earned it. But according to YouTube shows like J Shock Blast, you need to just deal with this empty two villain one time campaign after six months masterpiece. Be patient. Six months broken is nothing. Being patient waiting for DLC is fine. If I look at Borderlands, you got a new DLC every three or four months, okay? This is normal. I know that, you know, you say, oh, well, I have to do the same thing over and over again. But yeah, that's what you have to do in Call of Duty or a lot of other games. Maybe doing it over and over again in that game is a little more interesting to fair criticism, but it is what it is at this point. Cringe. If you told me a year ago I'd still be listening to dudes saying it is what it is unironically, I'd have called you crazy. But you know what else is crazy? A Marvel game that puts most of its effort into its campaign that cannot be replayed over five months later. But it's still not as crazy as the shills defending it. And you know I love this defense because to them, others have done it. And that makes it okay. Oh, you've waited longer with other games, so that makes this acceptable, tolerable, you know, for people who paid. Just wanna, just wanna sweep it under the rug. Imagine your mother, sister, or daughter comes to you with a valid problem. So a problem she can substantiate, she has evidence, documentation to prove that this is a definite problem. And your instant response is to say that it's not that big a deal, it's not that bad. You've seen worse, you've had worse happen to you because it's a competition. You just need to one-up them, right? Viewer, I ask you, would you recommend Marvel's Avengers in its current state to a friend? Comment why. Tell me why or why not. Would you recommend this in a capacity where they need to pay for it? That's the question. Do you consider this title worthy of $60? This dude, apparently, would. And he is entitled to that. <laughs> me, however, I would never. But that's mainly because I know the meaning of the word friend. Just like I know the meaning of the word shill. Marvel's Avengers own developers cannot play their own game without falling through the map. They have not shown, indicated, or addressed any timelines pertaining to fixing a multiplayer that currently still drops people from sessions. A Kamala-centric one-time-only playthrough of a campaign that treats the Avengers like side characters, a live service that farted out one hero in six months, to your normie defense that uh, what about the coof? You know this game was in development for multiple years before any of that? But I guess that contradicts your narrative, so you just ignore it. This game has no end game, ironically. Terrible loot, but you know what? I guess it's excusable, right? It's not like this game's a looter or anything. Oh, wait. I told you, beta testers. The second other people started talking about this game, it would be the second that the clown music intensified. And if there's one thing we've learned with this damn game, it's that the clown music can always get louder. Nothing wrong with being excited. Ooh, better performance in 4K on that PS5. But the enemy's still spawning outside the map, right? The developers are still saying that they're postponing cloning labs and Omega level threats because the game can't keep people together, right? But you already knew that if you're spending thousands of dollars in this game's stale ass shop, right? I couldn't summon the virginity necessary to have a conversation with people like this, but I'm not sure I could line my back up with Square Enix's whip fast enough to speak to this dude on his level. Maybe because I'm black, so it's still like a touchy subject for me. You know, too soon. You know what I mean? Now I'm saying, it is what it is. I ain't mad at you. Get that shield money, baby. Even if it costs you your integrity. 
Just stop flinching when people try to hand you back your ID. Speaking of an anniversary though, did you guys know that the day that the deep dive was released was the three year anniversary of the Black Panther movie being released? Talk about a missed opportunity, huh? Time flies. It's also Black History Month, but I recognize that that doesn't really matter to people unless they're, you know, awkwardly sliding our vernacular into their speech to try to seem like less of an NPC, more identifiable. Oh, this will get that demographic on my side, you know what I mean? Yet, you're paradoxically defending Marvel's Avengers. Okay. <laughs> but Avengers is so inclusive, oh my god, so identifiable. I love violent girl talk. That's a quote from the, um, the game. Hmm, it's normal. I hope this video has been insightful. As usual, my rambling has gone on much longer than I guess was necessary. Forgive me for going past the eight minute mark, which is not exactly what a lot of YouTubers do these days. They probably got a timer up in their face. Sometimes I look over at the thing and go, oh shit, you know? And I think maybe, maybe when I edit it down, it'll be me talking for less time. Nah, baby. It's all full of me going, and another thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Three days away from my birthday. What are you going to get me? The wish list is in the description. The Streamlabs link is down there. You know, if you want to give me a kiss on the mouth, you don't have to, you know, literally do it. You can just, like, think about it. And it's the thought that counts, you know? I love you. <laughs> figurative because I'm about you know what I'll take those likes instead bring them 500 likes and I'll make another Marvel's Avengers video but you know I'm just as excited as you to see what some of these people are going to talk about for a month oh boy good luck to them but me I can do this all day I said it I said the thing from the movie <laughs> It's the li it's the line like Captain America. He says like I can do this all day, you know. Like whenever she comes, whenever she comes out, he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, boom. You looking for this? Do you need a bottle of water? You want me to get you a bottle of water and then drop it on the bed? Like boom. You looking for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I should I should go to Crystal Dynamics Studio and and give them some uh, integrity and say boom. You looking for this? Is that is that too much? Okay. Thank everybody for coming to my comedy special. Y'all wanted to play Spider-Man? You can play Kate Bishop, man. Watch Kate Bishop fly. But that's not all. Watch Kate Bishop soar. You can be the king of New York. King. <laughs> Queen.